When the Black Dragon arrived, it caused a huge explosion which destroyed the command center, as well as Zordon and Alpha 5. At that time, we thought it had also destroyed Scorpina, but in reality, she was transported to the other universe where Lord Draken is the leader. This happened because the explosion was not something common, but it was the door to a portal that connects to the multiverse. This is why the universe we know is different from Lord Draken's universe and this explosion was the first door that connected these two universes. This was triggered by the Rita of the main universe we know and Lord Draken, who comes from the other universe, in order to send the Black Dragon into the main universe. We all know that the Black Dragon was controlled by Lord Draken from the other universe, and this was to destroy the Rangers of the main universe. When the explosion happened, Zordon was destroyed, or at least that's what everyone thought, but in reality, he was wandering through time. The Zordon of the main universe begins to think about everything he is experiencing in this journey through time and space. He begins to question whether being able to see the events of the past is a gift or a curse by not being able to intervene in what is happening. Life is full of, if only, as regret is a natural part of life, even if you live outside of time. When this explosion happens, Zordon begins to travel through time and although he knows he has been in a physical world, he also understands that he lives in a time tunnel, but this situation is completely different. Now, he is not outside of time, but in between it, specifically between two timelines. The portal that opened did not destroy him, but it did not completely push him into the other universe either. Because of this, Zordon now has the opportunity to be able to see everything that has happened over the years in that other universe and wants to know how this Dark Ranger came to be. In these first images we can see how Lord Draken was controlling the Black Dragon from his universe and was threatening the Rangers of the main universe. Zordon is seeing things that he had not seen as he had supposedly been destroyed by the explosion at the time. We can see that he has two timelines, a purple one and a blue one, which he can touch in order to see what has happened in that universe. The purple one is from the main universe and the blue one is from Lord Draken's universe, so now Zordon starts to open that timeline to find out what Draken's beginning was like. The events begin after Jason destroyed the sword that had Rita's spell on it, but in this universe, weeks had passed, and Tommy had not returned to join the Rangers. The Zordon of this universe obviously does not know that the Zordon of the main universe is watching these events. This Zordon from this other universe is full of hope and thinks that Tommy is going to be able to overcome the influence Rita has on him since good always overcomes evil. The Zordon from the main universe hears those words and feels he was wrong as things began to change. Tommy Oliver bowed to Rita and joined her to form an army to destroy the Rangers. Zordon keeps looking at all these events through the timeline window and feels very sad about what Tommy from that universe did. In that other universe Zordon still had hope that there was good in Tommy, but despite this he had to continue to help the Rangers in the great battle. Because of this, he sought out new Zords and new allies, which were also being destroyed by Tommy. One of these allies was Ninja, who created Saba together with the Zords of the White Light Power. The more the Zordon of the main universe saw the events of this other universe, the more he believed that this Tommy was not worth believing in. This was the day Tommy had defeated Jason and combined his Green Ranger powers with the new White Light powers. This one took over Saba, which was telling Tommy that he was wrong, but Tommy told the Saber that it could only speak on his command. He then told Zordon that he was giving him one last chance to surrender and swear allegiance to him, otherwise he was going to finish him off. Tommy had poisoned Zordon chronologically, meaning he had poisoned him through time and space using some kind of magic. 
In this way he is going to detach Zordon from time and space so that he can die alone in the void. Zordon tells him, there is still good in you Tommy, you don't have to do this. Draken gets very angry and tells him that his name is not Tommy, then launches his power at Zordon. This causes Zordon to detach from time and space, sending him somewhere else to die. What Draken didn't know was that in that same place was the other Zordon from the main universe and they both met there. They are both confused, but quickly understand the situation and begin to talk about everything that Zordon from the main universe has seen from the other universe. This Zordon from the main universe says he doesn't know what to think about everything he's seen since in his world Tommy Oliver joined the Power Rangers. The other Zordon says that's excellent, but then starts to take his last breaths. Zordon from the main universe asks him if he wants to say anything, but the other Zordon just tells him that he simply doesn't regret anything. Zordon from the main universe does not understand this as he thinks that believing in Tommy ruined everything in that other universe. The other Zordon with his dying breaths says that sometimes things don't turn out the way we want them to, but he believes that good will triumph over evil in the end, even if it's not the way we initially believed. He then tells him that everything that has happened in his world has brought him here and apparently will bring others from the main universe into his universe as well. At the end he advises Zordon from the main universe to continue to have faith in the Power Rangers and to also remain true to his beliefs as there is nobility in them, even when they don't produce the outcome he expects. He then takes his leave and explodes in an explosion of light that engulfs everything around him. In this way, Zordon of the main universe was able to see his own death, even though he was the Zordon of another universe. Then, Zordon from the main universe begins to lose the effects of the portal that brought him to that place and begins to drift away from the timelines. At the same time, he begins to hear a voice calling his name. This voice came from Saba, who was using her connection to the grid to keep Zordon in that plane of space-time and that is why he returned near the timelines of both universes. At first Saba thought that this was the Zordon from her universe, but then she realizes that this was a different Zordon. Saba feels guilty for not arriving in time to save the Zordon she knows, but this other Zordon tells her that they can still save her universe. He tells him that in the future rangers from his universe will arrive in the other universe, including another Tommy Oliver. Saba says that, if Zordon trusts this other Tommy, then he's going to trust him too. We then get to witness what Zack had narrated, the event when Lord Draken took his morpher from him, but he was able to kick it away and saved Saba. At that point, the Saber begins to tell Zack that he is leaving but that someday he is going to return with those who will save the world. What Zack didn't know is that this was a message from the Zordon of the main universe who was using Saba to send him that message. After this Zack would spend several years building defenses and fighting Lord Draken. Saba would go into hiding until the day Billy and Tommy arrived to give the world a new hope. At that time, Zordon learns that sometimes, if only, doesn't always mean something good.